Okay, so what I'm trying to do, my photograph shows the cow going this way, looking out this way, and I'm trying to bring the cow's face back around. Okay, so I worked on this little guy and I'm still I'm still having trouble with the neck. Um, looking like a cow um, or a calf and not a goat. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens with that. But so far so good. Now I want to uh, bring the grass down um, and I'm going to actually do something a little different. I'm going to make it more orange. really want to lighten it up here. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. see about getting rid of that. Driving me nuts to do this. Because it looks somewhere between a cross from a horse. You know, it's not easy to paint a calf for that reason. Um, you know, they, they either look like small cows, miniature cows, or they look like another animal. It's hard to paint a calf. And of course, when you're that far away, it, there shouldn't be a whole lot of detail either. See how it looks really good, just barely grazing this? You know, I've got a very light brush stroke going on here. But I gotta get a handle on what these cows look like in real life. 
you know, I like to have a painterly approach to my paintings. You know, brushwork, intensive brushwork, but it has to be describing correctly the animal that you're painting or whatever it is that you're painting. Okay, so I like that as far as background color. I do realize that I have to try to bring those grasses up. And you know, some of these are really, really tall compared to the, the actual size of the cow. All right, so I'm going to work on this cow. I'm going to also get out my gel medium. It's at that stage where it needs the gel medium or else I'm going to muddy up the colors. And I also wanted to share that I am using uh, walnut oil now to store my brushes. I feel that washing them as often as I did was breaking them down. Um, so stand oil, I'm not stand oil, walnut oil, I'm hoping will make a difference with um, the longevity of my brushes because they're expensive. And, and um, you know, I'd like to get a little more than 30 days out of them. And I feel like there's a definite line here that I want to soften up. Okay, let's get a little bit more warmer as we come down into the painting here. Oop, too dark once again. And just take that right off. It doesn't really belong there. I'm glad that I let this dry. See, it's stained. Um, because I can confidently take anything that I feel is a mistake off. Again, this is trying to break up this sense of a line through here. Yeah, see, that's like a line there. Okay. Uh, let me just do... A little bit more right here. And you can see that, that this line here was bordering up with the cow's ear, so that's not allowed. That's what they call kissing. I do have a new brush that is a rigger. I'm going to try it and see how that does. And maybe I'll get a little more deliberate with a few of these. I want it to look like it's just coming right up from the bottom of the painting. Okay, that does offer a measure of finish quality. Let me see about through here. I think I am going to splatter. So let me try splattering right now. Get more yellow into this. Yeah, I like the splatters. But again, less is more. Okay, 
gonna leave that be. Okay, now I'm gonna try to make some adjustments here. I, I have my colors picked out. Um, I'm trying to adjust the udder. Um, these beefer cows have smaller udders than the uh, milk cows do. Okay, and then comes in just a smidge there. Okay, now that's looking more like a profile of a cow. Okay, that's the wrong, wrong color, that's for sure. 